Today, I got three important things done. One, I voted in some local elections. Two, I got a fresh haircut. And three, I shopped the Hobby Lobby clearance yarn sale. Oh yeah. Hello crafters, my name is Amanda. Welcome to Crafters Autonomous, where I give you the knowledge and skills you need to craft it yourself. I'm so excited for this video. This is something I love getting to participate in every year, and I absolutely love getting to share it with all of y'all. And that is Hobby Lobby's annual yarn clearance. If you wanna check out my hauls from previous years, I'll link to those videos in the cards and in the descriptions. And today I'm gonna to show you what I got this year. Now, to be completely honest, I'm not gonna say that this year was disappointing, just it was definitely a little bit different than in other years. The selection was a lot smaller as far as what was marked down. I was even a little concerned that had I missed the sale. So I have been watching my stores for several weeks now, watching online. Last week at the very end of the week, there were one or two yarns marked down. I saw online that stores in other parts of the country were running the clearance. And based on previous years, I had a really good feeling that this was going to be the week that my store marked the yarn down. So yesterday was Monday. I didn't have the chance to go out. So my mom, super awesome. My, my whole family supports me in this. My mom went to Hobby Lobby and checked. So she called me, sent me some pictures, gave me a little report. Also fun story, and I've got to give a little bit of a shout out. While my mom was on the phone with me, she was trying to find if there were any clearance yarn in some other lady's shop. It was like, oh, here's some clearance yarn over here. It's only $1.24. And anyways, afterwards, my mom said that they started talking. My mom loves to like brag about my YouTube channel. She told the lady about my channel. And right then and there in the store, Lauren pulled up her phone and subscribed to my channel right there. Is that not like the sweetest thing ever? Thank you so much. Lauren for subscribing to my channel. I hope you enjoy. So I just wanted to give you a shout out and I just thought that was so much fun. At first my mom was like, there's one type of yarn marked down and that's it. But then as she started looking, she started finding more. And so I was like, okay, the clearance is happening. But after I got my hair cut today, my sister picked me up when she got off of work and we hit up a Hobby Lobby further up in town, which was not the one my mom had been to. That Hobby Lobby <laughs> literally had two things marked down. They had some crochet thread marked down and they had some roving yarn marked down and that was it. I really can't tell if that place was just out of stock or if someone had already cleared other things out. So then we went to the Hobby Lobby that's closer that my mom had been to and yes, found a lot of stuff on clearance. Having said that, there was far less on clearance this year than in past years. And kind of the big thing that made me really sad is there was no discounted, I love this yarn, no discounted cotton of like any kind. There was one, but it was a weird bulky cotton and no baby yarn marked down. That made me kind of sad because whenever the I love this yarn is marked down, that stuff is so great. I grab it regardless of the color, whether it's acrylic or cotton, love that stuff. And then the baby yarn, I make a lot of baby blankets and donate them. So I unfortunately was not able to get baby specific yarn. So it might be something like my haul is gonna be really lame, but <laughs> I ended up spending $53. I did get some non-crochet things and popping up on screen right now is the total number of yarn skeins that I got, the total price I spent on yarn, and then what's popping up on screen now should be the average cost per skein of yarn. I haven't done the math yet while filming this, so editing Amanda's gonna let y'all know what it was. But let me show you what I got. As always, I'm gonna tell you what my thoughts and plans are. I was already thinking that I either needed to set a number of skeins limit or a price limit on myself because last year, like, I went really big. I am running out of storage, so this year I'm like, I must rein myself in. I must be strategic. And I gotta say, I really didn't do too bad. I have a purpose for pretty much everything I got. Let's take a look. Ugh. First of all, here's what we're working with. We'll start with the little bag first. I got a wooden eight millimeter crochet hook for 69 cents. I just like wooden crochet hooks. I don't have an eight millimeter hook, couldn't pass it up. Non yarny things I got include some pins and some ribbon. Even if you don't wanna get a big yarn haul, they did have markdowns on a lot of the fabrics and things. Buttons were marked down, ribbon was marked down. I don't know that fabric specifically, but fabric adjacent type items, a lot of it was marked down. So you might wanna check those out as well. These pins, I needed some rust proof pins for some starching and blocking projects I'm going to be doing. If you saw my recent video about the projects from my Grammy, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then in this bag, I have two things of yarn. First up is this cozy with a twist that was marked 75% off. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I sometimes like to do cute little Amy Gurumi projects with the funky, chunky chenille type yarn, but it can get a little pricey. So I thought, you know, if I have this on hand for only $1.74, I'll feel 
feel like I have the freedom to make whatever I want with it next time I get an urge to make some random chunky amigurumi. Then I got something that I kind of wish I had picked up at the first Hobby Lobby store because this was the very last one and it is this absolutely kind of terrible roving yarn. Here's what I mean by that. This stuff is really cool and people make the chunky blankets out of it, but roving yarn, because it does not have any structure or twist to the fiber, does not hold up well. It falls apart. It gets fuzzy. It's just kind of, uh, it's beautiful in concept, very frustrating in practice. But this stuff is normally 12 bucks. It was marked down to 274. So again, I think a 75% clearance. And here's why I got this. I, I don't particularly love the color, but what I want to try is I want to try spinning it because it's essentially roving. Earlier in the year, I got some really nice Malabrigo wool roving and I'm gonna be practicing on my drop spindle. And I figured while this might not be as good quality and nice to practice spinning on, I if I totally ruin this, it's not the end of the world and it's way cheaper than the Malabrigo wool yarn. Then for the big bag. Again, going over to the non-yarny section, I, kind, I, I did a lot of impulse buying over there. I got this red and green burlap kind of material. They were both under two bucks. I love Christmas. I love Christmas crafts and decor. So I thought might as well stock up on this cause I, I'll find a use for this. In a similar vein, I also got this tube of red tool. Now here's something I want to mention because this applied to the yarn as well. I paid $2.49 and the normal price is $4.99. Meaning this was only half off. In previous years when Hobby Lobby's done their yarn clearance, every yarn that's discounted, that's clearanced, is 75% off. This year, some things were only half off and there was actually one yarn that was like, it was less than 25% off. So this one yarn, the normal price is $3.99, but when you look at the clearance tag, it's only marked down to $3.14. That's not even 25% off. And yarn routinely goes on 30% off every other week or every two weeks. So I felt a little disappointed by that because I had been hoping to get more of that yarn, but at that price, it wasn't really clearance shopping. It was more just like normal yarn buying. So I passed on that yarn. Then there were other yarns that were only half off. There were some I was interested in like the two of wands color theory and I thought the scarfy yarn looked really interesting but I couldn't justify the price when it was only half off and I didn't have a specific project in mind for it so I decided to hold off. So if you're going to shop this sale in the next few days or next week when it gets to your stores, make sure you're actually paying attention to the pricing because it can be so easy to see the orange tag go, it must be a great deal and if you don't pay attention to the pricing, you might not actually be getting as good of a deal as you think. I'll show you the last two non-yarn things and then I'll show you the yarn. I got two packs of these buttons, the other one's somewhere in the bag here. These are 49 cents for a two pack. I've got some crochet projects like cardigans and things that they just don't sit quite right and I wanna put a button on them so I can close them and they're not fall off of me. So I was like, you know what? I might as well grab some cheap buttons. And then there's these two cross stitch pattern packets or embroidery pattern packets, whatever you call them. As I mentioned, my sister took me shopping. She was looking at some different things. She threw these in the cart and jokingly was like, hey, you should buy these for me because I drove you, haha. -ha. And I was like, you know, it's a dollar. I, I can treat her to, you know, $1 worth of craft supplies since she took me to the store. All right, now for more yarn goodies. I grabbed another hook for $1.24. This is a 12 millimeter yarnology ergonomic hook. I don't have a 12 millimeter, so that's the main reason I picked it up. I was also curious about the ergonomic handle. I don't know how I'm gonna like this because the handle feels a little, I say sticky, it's not actually sticky, but you know some rubbery items feel a little sticky yeah it's got that kind of a feel we'll see i got two things of crochet thread now these were items that were only half off the other thing is the yarn was also 30 percent off and i have heard in the past of people buying clearance yarn and then the cashier also stacking the 30 percent on top of it i didn't get that lucky today so i didn't get a super great deal on these but I was like, you know, for $1.49 a piece, I might as well stock up. I think this is a really cute color. They call it coin. It's kind of a silver gray, but it has this really pretty purple undertone to it. I wouldn't call it lavender, but it's almost like if gray had a lavender undertone. I also got this true gray one that is called pewter. My main reason for picking these up is when they clearance the yarn, it means one of two things, generally speaking. It either means they're discontinuing that 
that color of that yarn line, or it means they're raising the price on that yarn line. I don't think they're raising the prices on these, so I think it means they're discontinuing this color, so I thought I might as well snag one while it's available. Next up is a sugar wheel that was 75% off. I got really excited when I first saw it because I thought it was sugar wheel cotton, but no, it's just sugar wheel. It's an acrylic cake that has an ombre tone to it. I've never worked with this before, but it's 355 yards for a buck 87. I'm like, you know what? This is cute. I can find something to do with this. Th this was a bit of an impulse. Who am I kidding? It's all impulse buy, right? <laughs> Next up, I got three skeins of Yarn Bee Soft Stitch in the color Oatmeal. These were marked down 75% to $1.24. This oatmeal, I'm gonna make into a baby blanket. This yarn is insanely soft. I've never used it before, so I'm excited to play around with it. So this baby blanket will run me less than $4, and I love donating baby blankets, so the cheaper I can get the yarn, the more I'm able to make. We did find this color called Bruschetta, but it was not in the yarn section marked down. There's a clearance section on the back wall of the store where they put random clearance stuff. For some reason, this yarn made it back there. I thought this would be really cute. I can put an orange border onto the oatmeal colored blanket. So don't forget to check other clearance spots in the store in case clearance yarn ends up not on the main yarn aisles. Now this, <laughs> yeah, this was definitely an impulse buy. This is my sister's fault. She pressured me into buying this one. This is called Uber Lux in the color Raspberry. It's normally $7.99, but I got it for 75% off. It's a weight sick, super bulky acrylic yarn. There's 42 yards. Here's the deal on this one. On camera, it looks very red tone, and I know raspberry kind of sounds red tone. This is like toned down hot pink. It's way more hot pink than the red that it looks like on camera. This is like almost hot pink. I love pink, especially hot pink, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. So here is my thinking. This might be totally crazy. My thinking is because it's super bulky and I can only get so much, you know, yardage out of it. My thinking is I might try unplying the yarn and just working with it to ply, which if I do, that's gonna be a chore and the yarn might get a lot fuzzier because it will have less twist and structure to it, but I couldn't not get the hot pink yarn. And, and like I said, my sister pressured me into this. She was like, you have to get it. And so, you know, I couldn't say no, right? And then last of all, this is very bittersweet. I got a bunch of spinesse yarn. Here's why this is bittersweet. I got some of this last year when some colors were on clearance and I really liked it. This year, every color, every skein of spinesse was on clearance, which most likely means they're doing away with the spinesse line. It could, it could, could, could mean they're just increasing the price and they're trying to get the ones that are $4.99 out of the store so they can stock with the higher priced ones. But my gut's telling me they're probably getting rid of the spinesse. So since this is probably my last chance to ever get this yarn, I, I kind of wanted to clear out the whole thing, but then I was like, hold back, hold back. But they were only $1.12. Like that's phenomenal. You cannot get yarn for $1.12 anywhere anymore. I had to clear out the green. There were only three. If you've watched my channel, you know I love the color green. I end up buying all my yarn in the color green and making all my projects in green. And then I'm like, what am I doing? I have only green clothing now. But since it was my last chance to get it, I'm like, I have to grab the green. Then they had this stunning purple color. It's called Heather. It's like this soft purple lilac lavender tone. Tone, this is going to make an absolutely precious baby blanket. I'm not a huge purple fan personally, but I think this color is gorgeous. Yeah, it's gonna be adorable as a baby blanket. So I didn't clear this color out. I got four of them. There were a bunch of these, but fortunately, because I only got a few, I was able to get all the same dye lot. And then last up, I got nine skeins of this teal color. I cleared them out of the teal at that one location. Here's why. I've been working on some projects for summer, I have had this idea in my head of wanting to make, I say a sundress, more of like a cover up where it's gonna be a bit more of an open weave, very flowy, but you know, say like you're at the beach and you wanna throw something on while you're going for a walk, but you're not necessarily needing to get like fully dressed, right? So basically a cover up. I was not sure how many of these I'm gonna need because I have no idea what kind of pattern I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of make it up and I'm really hoping that if I can come up with a good texture to do a tutorial on how to make a swimsuit cover up 
to fit your body, kind of like I did with my Tunisian crochet tank top to fit your body, my crochet tank top to fit your body, etc. Where it's gonna be a pattern, but instead of saying do this many stitches, I'm gonna show you here's how you measure it against your body. That might not work out, but I'm really hoping I can make that happen. And if I do, I will of course share that video with y'all. I wanted to give myself plenty of wiggle room so that I didn't run out since in theory, I won't be able to get this ever again. So yeah, I cleared out this color. I got nine of them. Probably more than I need, but they're only $1.12 a piece. So I'm like, if it's extra, I'm not out that much. And maybe I'll have enough left over that I can make a top or something else out of this yarn. So I just counted it up. I got 26 skeins of yarn. Honestly, I feel like I did really good. My thinking going into the store was either limiting myself to 20 skeins of yarn or $40 spent. I did spend a total of $53.17 in store, but I had a number of non-crochet items. And at one point I kind of checked to see how I was doing and I ended up around, I think, $31.90. So I was like, I've got some wiggle room. I grabbed a few more things that I'd been debating on. So I actually feel like I did pretty good staying kind of in my goal range. Now it's just a matter of figuring out where to store all this. And of course, I'm going to start another million whips as if I don't have dozens sitting around everywhere already. But I wanted to get this video out as fast as I could so y'all know what to expect when you go to your store. And so hopefully you don't miss out on the sale and can score on some really great items like I did. If you have any ideas of what I should make with any of this yarn, be sure to drop it in the comments below. Y'all share such good ideas with me and have given me such good inspiration on ways to use my yarn in the past. So I'm excited to hear what awesome ideas y'all have for me. But that's the video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, happy crafting.